close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch the breath all the way in, all the way out. Notice where you feel the breath most distinctly, and settle your attention there. And then notice whether it feels good or not. If it doesn't feel good, you can change the way you breathe, or can find another spot to put your attention. You're trying to create a home for the mind here. An important part of being at home is that you feel at ease. So if the breath isn't comfortable, you can change it so it does feel more like a home. Because the mind spends so much, of its, so much of its time wandering around. A thought goes out and goes running with it. Another thought goes out and it goes running off in that direction as well. And 99% of the thoughts don't really go anywhere. They're just kind of churning of the wheels in the mind. And the mind puts a lot of energy into that. No wonder when something really important comes up that you've got to think through. You can't think, through, think it through clearly. So it's important that the mind has a place to rest. So that when important issues do come up, you're well rested, you're ready to go. The classic images of a knife. If you keep just using it and using it and using it, it gets dull. And then something comes along that you've got to hit, cut through clearly and distinctly and quickly. You can't do it because the knife is so dull. You've wasted your time using your knife, cutting it on bricks, cutting it on dirt, other things that really don't aren't there to be cut, really. It's just that you've got the knife in your hand, so you just keep cutting. So what you've got to learn how to do is stop, just settle down and be still. That way the, the mind gets sharpened, it's rested, it's clear, because in order to stay still, it's not just dozing off. You have to be very alert and very mindful about what you're doing, and that sharpens the mind at the same time that it's resting. And then when the time comes, okay, you're ready to go, you're ready to think. A problem comes up, and you can see the cause of the problem, and you cut through the cause right there. Our main problem is that we don't see, when a problem comes, what it's coming from. Our minds are too dull because we've been using them for all kinds of other things. So save your thinking for when you really need it. Otherwise let the mind rest with the breath. And this develops one of the important skills, as the Buddha said, when the mind is really well trained, you think about the things you want to think about, and you don't think about things you don't want to think about. And that way the mind becomes your friend. Otherwise, if it's leading you all over the place, who knows where it's going to lead you? And that's not really a good friend at all. You've got to be in control. Your sense of what's useful and not useful, right and wrong, that has to be in control. Which is why we train the mind, it's to put mindfulness and alertness in control so that you can use the mind when you need to use it, and you can rest it when you don't. And it's always sharp.